Hello survivors and welcome to another The Spell Brigade video. We are getting straight into the action. We're playing on the Sun Mage because we want to unlock the level 5 as quickly as possible because we're just trying to speed through this and get the main skill of the video which is the Falling Stars and hopefully we can get it. Beautiful start with the Veil of Haste. Uh, maybe we don't, if we don't get it at level 5 we can rush levels and try and get it to level 15 before we get the second augment maybe skipping one augment isn't the end of the world but i really i mean the getting that veil of haste is actually beautiful so i don't know i really really hope and pray lady luck is on our side over here so please please game just love me one more level give me what we are looking for we'll just increase the solar pulse over here we could go lightning solar pulse just for even more damage but i'm just hoping and praying that we get the falling stars now and that we get the augments for it. So there's actually just two augments that I want with it, but yes, we do get the falling stars. That's a beautiful start to the video. Now we just need two. I'm happy with three augments. If we only get two, it's not the end of the world, but there are specific augments that we're looking for as well. So if we can get those ones, it would be fantastic. It just really depends on what happens at this beginning start. Typical RNG means that now we are probably going to get a double augment on Solar Pulse and I'm going to go crazy but uh, that is how it is sometimes. So right now we got the skill that is the best thing possible for us and if we just have to work on the cooldown for it more than anything else if we don't get the augments it's not the end of the world but we'll work on the uh, everything else around it. So let's see what happens. I hope and pray cross fingers ladies and gentlemen cross those fingers that we get what we're looking for we hope that we get the first augment very soon because i don't really want to spend more time leveling actually what we can do is let's let's try and not get uh level ups over here i will go and re-roll this one because uh luck is actually much better but uh actually luck is trash well, they, they've actually done a few quality of lives. First quality of life is with regards to stats in the game. So we're going to take a look at that. I'm going to run away from things and not level up here because I want to stay below level 15 for the first two objectives. So we could actually afford to get to about level 10. So let's do that actually. We don't need to run around just yet, although we got the objective. Retrieved the fungi, so we're running around regardless. So that's fine. But if we do level up a couple of times, that's okay as well. What I would like to take note of is if the top bar does go keep going, even though we can't see it now. So does the game progress, even though we're busy doing this fungi objective? So the longer I take with this, does that mean there's more opportunity to get the next objective sooner? because I've taken so much time trying to get this one, where some of the objectives, like let's say killing the statues, can go a lot faster, or even, you know, sealing the rift can take you a couple of seconds, or things like that, you know, does the objective stop the timer? I don't think it does, because generally your games take about 20 minutes, regardless of the objectives you've got, but this could be a good, you know, objective to take, take your time, take the full two minutes to get all of the mushrooms and then the um, next objective is going to be even sooner than you thought because you've actually just taken too long to get the first one so it's a way to kind of keep the levels down and keep you occupied at the same time but i don't know don't haven't really tried it too much myself all right we get one of the very first big ones so falling stars your spells explode at the end of its lifetime <coughs> i really could have just said the spell explodes on hit because the end of its lifetime is when it hits an enemy and then it explodes as you can see from uh, what's happening in front of us we don't want to hit level 15 just hoping and praying that we get the next uh augment to be for falling stars as well and it's not a double solar pulse augment but we can just hope and pray i don't mind going to like level 10 or 11 but it also just really depends on what the next objective is so we do need those levels just in case so 
it does hurt us in the long run in in terms of not being over leveled or having a specific amount of levels and then also the game only having so many levels for you to get in a, a single run before you actually land up killing the boss or whatever the case may be but it doesn't stop us from killing things and then hoping and praying that we don't run over the xp that's just chilling on the floor so we can still kill things um over here we are going to focus even if we get epics and all that if we get an upgrade for falling stars we're going to focus on that over everything else and then again trying not to pick up any of the massive amounts of xp so staying away from the middle there as you can see there is a decent amount or chunk of xp there hopefully we get statues and not something like uh, kill enemies around us so I don't want seal the rift and I don't want the the sacrifice altar but if I get them at least we five levels under and we should be getting the objective relatively soon now as well falling I mean you can see it's doing 181 damage and we just need that cooldown to go lower and lower and then it deals even more and more damage uh, we're going to go and increase our base damage of course that's a good thing to grab although what is it doing now 198 damage okay so it is working i was about to say the other day i was playing it and it didn't really feel like the base damage for like solar pulse or skills like that really increased when we leveled up the tartan's fury so it was weird uh, i'm kind of stuck here we're probably going to grab a level which we didn't want but there's not much more we can really do here. We'll go this way. And now we're going to try and not level up anymore. Uh, increase spell damage with legendary. That is beautiful. Come on game. Just stop giving me XP. <clears throat> it's doing a lot of damage right now. Which is perfect. Alright new objective. It's destroy the statues. Which is actually great. Because that involves... A lot of running around, which is exactly what we wanted to do. That statue is going to destroy itself. Uh, as long as the statues land up in lava, we should see ourselves in a really good spot. If they don't, uh, as long as you stand near them, I think the falling star can hit them. Or even if the falling star landed up hitting... Uh, what's the wording? There's, a, there's an augment which allows falling star to hit enemies uh, with uh, based, on their, oh, based on their health. So it focuses on higher health enemies first, which is, you know, your general. You get it on Astral Orb and all of those other skills as well. That one's in the lava, so we could just run to it and get, like, pick it up quickly. Maybe. There we go. We do have two levels to spend. That's going to destroy that. Don't know if we we need this guy to explode i don't know if that's going to explode on it all right it did and hopefully Ooh. no 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 not that way i might land up dying here but that's okay as well because not we're gonna level up aren't we no come on game i'm gonna die for this i need this objective first all right, we got it. Thank goodness. All right, we're going to go for an additional projectile. The plan worked. We did do it before we got to level 15 as well. And now we level up and we choose another spell. There's not much more we can do about that. We'll grab the Rune Burst. We don't really care about the other spells. It doesn't matter what spell it is. But we got the most important spell, which is the Falling Stars. And we get a Magnet over there. So we re-roll because we're just looking for... Uh, you know skills for that we'll just take the solar pulse because if we do get its level up even more then that means that we're able to you know increase or you know get like lightning or slow for it as well if we get to the first uh what's the wording i'm looking for if we get to the very first uh the very first my brain is not working infusion there we go all right, so we get quite a bit of cooldown reduction. You can start hearing it hit a lot sooner now, which is really, really cool. 
And now we just need to... Now we just... Now it's all RNG, ladies and gentlemen. Because we're going to have uh, four skills. Is the one going to be four falling stars? If it isn't, it's not the end of the world. We did get the double. We got the explosion hit. And we got the increased, uh, you know, projectile count. I should have just taken solar pulse. I don't know why I went and re-rolled there. Because there was a chance we could have got fated. Delayed fate. And then we could have had more luck. Eight luck is eight luck, ladies and gentlemen. Even though it did get nerfed to the ground and hasn't been buffed or changed even though we all want it to be buffed and changed um you know it's kind of there better than no luck let's put it that way free luck is better than no luck and free armor free armor and free luck better than anything else all right you can definitely see that the skills doing a whack ton of damage because everything around us is dying go and increase our base damage of course Maybe we don't level up again. Nah, there's no way we don't level. I don't know if I want to get the augment where it goes and focuses on a random en uh, on a healthy enemy. What I would like is the augment where it deals an additional spell, additional projectile. So if we can get another one of those, that would be the optimal outcome, but we'll see what happens and where we can go from where we are right now uh we'll just grab the spell damage again we are we can go and grab the uh, seven levels on it just so we can maybe get another lightning yep so we'll grab the lightning over there just for the the increased damage for when things are right on top of us there is our delayed fate max leveled from one level up fantastic decrease the spell cooldown we need even more cooldown there legendary cooldown will be the best thing for us of course but need to get uh you know gotta actually hit the spell i think we need more than three re-rolls in the game I do see them adding more in the future because as is, it's not uh, maxed on the, the meta progression. So uh, I do see us getting more rerolls in the future, maybe six. But for now, uh, I do see why you only get three because there's just not enough in the game for the rerolls. Although in saying that, uh, like there, I would have loved to be able to reroll my options, but I can't. We also need to go and seal this rift. All right, so decrease spell cooldown. Again, it would have been nice if that was epic and not the XP gain. I actually want to pick up this relic. Hopefully we don't get delayed fate. Joint protections, perfect. We get 33 armor. Increase the spell damage. And let's go and do this uh, sealed, seal this rift up. increase our spell size we fine with doing that took a lot of damage there it's not the end of the world i'm just i'm getting legendaries for every spell but, but the one i want to play that's the work of truth Bom So only for multiplayer. So, you know, quality of life, and that was it over there. Increase the spell size over time, extending its reach. I guess we'll go for that. Um, we've still got one more augment to go, so hopefully we do get something to do with the augment that we're playing, the game, I mean, the skill we're playing. But uh, let's talk about what you saw there. So I died and I leveled up uh, at the same time. And the game gave us one of the brand new, uh, you know, level up options. So when you die, you are able to use a level up to instantly revive. And then it doesn't use a revive on the corner there. I thought it might only be like a, a multiplayer thing. But it turns out it is actually a solo, level, uh, you know, solo gameplay as well, which is really, really fantastic. 
uh, I, I did actually mean to talk about it, but it completely like went over my head because I'm trying to get this bloody augment, or I'm trying to, you know, get level ups on the skill that I'm playing. But you know, the game doesn't want to give us that, so we're kind of in a, a little bit of a, a huffety mess over here. But uh, hey, let's go and see what happens. Uh, there we go, we get some damage to it. Oh my goodness, we got a level 13 falling stars out of the 40 level ups that we've had. Or I'll say 36, uh, 30, 37 level ups because technically three of them were for the skills themselves. But hey, game, out of the 37 levels, only 13 of them. So not even, about a third of them have been on the skill, which is actually disgusting. Uh, give me levels on the skill like that. Beautiful. Now we could go wild lightning, which is pretty fun because it's give us uh, defenses. But you know, plasma. Got to drop that plasma, man. We got to. We got to. These are meteors. We are dropping meteors on our enemy right now. Electric meteors. What I mean, electric. Would it be electric? A lightning meteor. I am not, you know, I am done with with this this luck that I have in this game. Obviously, I've got really good luck because I get the augments, and a lot of people struggle to even get the skill on level five. So there is that. But uh, I'm done with the luck of my my RNG with level ups in terms of you know what stats I get picked. Where? Give me veiled haste. Give me where? Yeah, exactly. Give me this. Where's my increased spell damage legendary for the Falling Stars? Why am I getting it on Arcane Broadsword? You know, give me better RNG. Give me a way to make my RNG better. Where, uh, Where's the game? You know, drop down in the comment section. If there's a game you know, or if there isn't, you can still comment in the comment section. You know, you don't actually need a reason for this, but if, you know, if there is a, a game that you know about where the RNG isn't like this, where if you wanted a specific skill or something for something else very specific, you can get it. Besides for, I mean, Soulstone Survivors, Survivors has it because, you know, you can get like 50 rerolls. So if you did one thing, but then at least in that game, you can't really pick uh, what quality of the role you're going to get. But, you know, is there a game out there where they give you such freedom to just completely break the game? as you know insanely possible i guess vampire survivors did it but that doesn't like it doesn't work the same way it's not like you're picking up a specific uh, upgrade for the skill although in that game you can get so many levels that you just randomize what you you level up with the when you're leveling the skill If you have that uh, option unlocked, um, what's it? Limit breaking, or whatever they called it. I call it limit breaking. I actually can't remember what it was called in the game. Haven't played Vampire Survivors in a very, very long time. All right, it sounds like a march, you know, march, 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 march. But that's just the falling star literally hitting all of the enemies. Oh, it's Golden Crab, who is already getting really hurt. I need to get water. Um, we need to go to this Golden Crab. Oh, there he is. Hello, Golden Crab. We'll grab some crit. Come on. Let's see. Okay, RNG wasn't on our, on our side over here. I'm going to go for the cooldown reduction. I don't even want the other augments. No, my disgust in you game. You did not give me an additional augment, an additional projectile. What you did do is make me sad. This is a sad broken right now. I don't even feel like finishing the level. Just, just because I get gold for leveling up, I'm going to do it. But otherwise, I would Alt F4 if I wasn't recording. I'm joking, guys. It's not. It's really not the end of the world. And again, I do understand why the developers do it. It does make you have to play the game over and over and over again so they get more 
you know, more people playing the game, playing the game for even longer, so on and so forth. So I do understand it, it's retention in the game and, you know, Steam charts and things like that as well. But uh, I think there are other ways of getting retention to be more prominent, like, you know, giving me all these legendaries. That, that definitely gives me good retention. <laughs> Finally, we get a legendary for the skill we're actually using. That's even more cooldown. Just having, imagine having a third projectile raining down on the enemies now. Or having it, uh, ooh. ooh. Right. Also, uh, uh, if you can see over here, uh, there is now this view stats. So if you hold down tab, you can actually see your stats while you're in the level up screen. You know, thank you developers for that huge quality of life change. We get base crit damage that's okay i mean as you can see we did get to the point now where we are completely unstoppable this is what i really like about the skill it is one of those skills that does allow you to become pseudo afk in a sense but it does require a lot of investment to get to that point uh, which is unfortunate i don't think there's ever going to be a way at least not on severe or hardcore to play a no movement challenge in this game I should have just taken health regen there, I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter if we pick up levels now. But as you can see, everything... I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much AFK right now. But as you can see, things just are... Way, we're doing 904 damage, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Oh, that's a crit. We're critting for about 900 damage. Uh, decrease the cooldown even more. Still aren't able to see the stats of the skill itself to know like, oh, our cooldown for the skill is X amount. So we're never able to know what the breaking points are. I guess if I rewatched the video and just took notes of like, oh, I got this amount of uh, cooldown reduction and so on and so forth, we can kind of see it that way. But who really wants to do that with their time? Who wants to spend their time like taking notes when it could be something that could be coded into the game? to allow us to do that or see it by pressing tab you know just have just have a a separate column in the the tab menu so we've already got here like just add if i push e or something that we can swap the view to our skills but anyway decrease the cooldown even more <clears throat> Without having the augment to attack enemies with the largest health bar, I don't know how the targeting is going to work with when the boss spawns, but we're about to find out anyway. We hit level 71, which means we did get 71 armor, which is really cool. Can I sit in the lava without taking that note? Alright, it turns out that lava does not get affected by your character's uh, armor. It always does 25 damage to you. So, you know, good thing that we tested that right now, because it would have been interesting to see. We do get another legendary cooldown reduction, so I mean, definitely my RNG did get turned up a little bit better further into the round but you know would have been nice to have had this in the very beginning definitely raining raining storms on the enemies now though which is great
Alrighty, boss has spawned. We can just go and decrease the spell cooldown for this, why not? And it's going to be interesting to see how much damage the skill actually deals. I think it's going to deal a whack ton of damage. Would deal even more damage if we had triple projectile, but hey. Beggars can't be choosers, can we now? Ow. That hurt. That hit us real hard, actually. Like, don't get hit by that again. Although, I mean, we probably would have leveled up there if we died. Increase our damage. As you can see, the Falling Stars hasn't really been hitting the boss much. But it has been killing everything around the boss, which is pretty much the same thing anyway. Go and increase our crit. Maybe if I ran away from the boss, I'd hit him more with it. Yeah. Does that mean that there's like a... Sort of a... What's the word I'm looking for? Like an area in which the falling stars won't hit and an area where it will hit. So does that mean it doesn't actually hit around you? But there you go, 5.7 million damage, 4.9k DPS. I think it would actually go up even higher if we landed up getting the right augments. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And always remember, keep safe survivors. Until next time. Cheers.